One popular design objective is to create lettering that curves around a ball, which is often needed when creating designs for sports teams or other projects where an object is in the center of a design. Here we will create a design for a basketball team that has won a regional championship. First, we import our basketball, which we have purposely placed in the lower left-hand corner. On the menu bar, we can select a range, then align and distribute, and then align centers vertically, which will move the basketball to the center of the page left to right, but not top to bottom. In the same menu bar, we can select a range, align and distribute, and then align centers horizontally, which will now move the basketball to the center in relation to up and down. There is also a much easier way to do the same thing, which is to press the letter C to center the object left to right, and press the letter E to center the object top to bottom. Highlighting the A icon on the left-hand side allows us to enter the text Basketball. Hold down the left mouse button while moving backwards across the word to highlight all the letters. In the upper left-hand corner, you will see a pull-down menu that allows you to choose another font. We will choose Arial Black as one of the largest fonts available in our pick list, but you can choose any font that you think looks best for your design. Since our text is far too big for the page, we can hold down the shift key while pulling in the arrow in the lower right-hand corner so that the object shrinks from all sides at the same time. We can continue to resize the text until it fits onto the page. Here we tried to press C to center the object, but because we had the A icon selected, the software thought that we wanted to add a new letter. The menu bar provides us with an edit option where we can select Undo or Control z to undo our mistake. Before an object can be centered, you need to highlight the black arrow in the upper left corner which denotes that you are in object mode. Since we are now in object mode, we can stretch the lettering to give it more impact. The Distort Object menu is found on the left-hand side of the screen, and we want to choose the Flag option. The Flag option in the Distort menu allows us to stretch down the outer edge of the word on both sides, as well as to allow us to stretch the top middle parts of the word in the up direction. We can also move the now stretched word closer to the basketball to make the text and the ball look more integrated. The word champions can now be added to the bottom of the design. Here again, we need to resize the lettering to fit onto the page and press C to allow the text to auto-center in the middle. The new text is now centered, but it is not the same width as the text above, so we need to find an easy way to align the two. Holding down your mouse on the ruler on the left-hand side allows us to pull out a guideline and place it in line with the B of the word basketball. The word champions can now be exactly matched with the word above. 
Unused guidelines can be moved back to the ruler area. Using the same distort menu flag option used for the first word, we can now distort the bottom word to match the curve of the ball. In this example, we will leave the bottom of the lower word unchanged. Here is the completed design, ready to show our championship team for final approval.